I just bought it. Probably the biggest buck I've ever seen. I was literally just coming home, looked over. I was like, what is that stick doing on top of the deer's head? And then I was like, hold up a second. That's antlers. I can tell, guys, he's in the rut. He just gave me that stare, signifying, I know you can kill me, but I have different priorities right now. He's never going to be more vulnerable than he is right now. It ain't going to be easy, because I still got to get roughly within 40 yards. But yeah, here we go. Dang it, I forgot my rangefinder. I got the rangefinder. I don't know if y'all just saw that. But that's a big old boy. That is every bit of the biggest deer I have ever seen in the wild. yards 49 yards but it ain't over okay i watched him head out 49 yards could i have took him with my bow i'm gonna say yes no i couldn't not a chance i could have killed him 49 yards with my bow kg is playing conservative today 2018 kg dude he'd slung that arrow he'd hit that thing in the side of the face and he'd been proud of it if i chased him straight down the hill he had the wind advantage on i'm gonna flank him around because i know where he's going okay i've been living here longer than he has i know my property better than he does thank you i think it's him i think it's bucky oh my gosh this is dramatic So I sit in that field, okay, hunched up like a stinking bush. About 10 minutes rolls by, nothing happens. 15, nothing, 20, he grunts at me. Okay, are you hearing this? The deer noticed my presence and grunted for intimidation. I was terrified. But long story short, he's still out there and we're going back in the morning. But not before I get practice up, okay? From what I know about deer hunting, whenever he grunts and is staring at me like he wants to kill me, that's a pretty good sign he's aggressive. He's ready to do some damage. Not to mention, for the past two weeks, I have been peeing in his scrape every day. Shout out to uh, Jeff, it's my second buck I've ever killed and he's the biggest thing I've ever killed so far. So look at this. Earlier I made a claim. I said I think it's Bucky. I lied. I don't think it's Bucky. But whenever I saw his tail go up and start heading out of there, I thought of the perfect name for him. And I wrote it down in my notes. Let me pull it out. Esteban Julio Ricardo Montoya de los Rosa Ramirez. We'll call him Lil Shouty for short. No, we won't call him that. We'll call him Lil Ricky. Lil Ricky. Yeah, that, that's a terrible name. We're not naming him that either. We're going to name him Rock Band. Long story short, though, i got to get a little practice. Let's see what we can do. But instead of simply waiting on Rock Band to come to me, I'm going to use these pieces of antler from a deceased deer. Let's go hunting and uh, hopefully we can put the smoke on Rock Band. Welcome back guys, in today's video I'm gonna go get a brain scan because I literally don't think my brain works anymore. Let me just start by saying this guys, I got here early, everything was looking good until I got about 20 feet out the door. I forgot my jacket, I forgot the rattling antlers, I forgot my GoPro, I forgot socks. 
How does a man forget socks? I get up in the tree, leaves are falling, they're orange and everything. Everything's looking really good. I stand up, hit the rattling antlers, immediately go down, nose in my phone. I look up, boom, he's he's walking away. I didn't even get that part on camera. So I rattled again, knowing that he is in the area this time. Right back to Snapchat. Next thing I know, I look up. He's literally right on top of me. My rattling, absolutely flawless. A stellar performance. But guess what, Steve? What happened after the calling was everything but stellar. I came to a realization. I need to get off my phone. There is no way on earth I'm going to kill that deer with this bow. I'm just going to be honest, guys. I'm bringing back the crossbow. So I jumped out of the tree, peed on a scrape, and we'll be back in the woods at 4 o'clock. All right, guys, it's the next day. Long story short, we're not hunting right now, but I'm coming to grab that trail camera. We're gonna check it. It's been watching these scrapes for about a week now. We're gonna check them out. But that's the main scrape. Right here's the secondary scape, scrape. I don't know, that's the one they've been using recently. And then there's my stand. Yeah, we're coming to get in this camera though. Let's go check it and see what in the world we got. Maybe there's some pictures on this camera that may change the season forever. I don't exactly know what that means, but it sounded good. You never know. We may get trail cam footage of a cougar literally eating rock band, and then we can stop hunting for him. I don't know, that's just an example. Now before we check these pictures, I do wanna say that the trail camera we were using, this is a KG trail camera. This is my favorite trail camera. Probably because I'm biased, because I'm the one who makes and sells these. Like, I don't have to check them on the computer. I have an LCD screen where you can check them out in the field if you want to. But if you want any other KG gear, like all of this hunting gear, which is, you know, pretty prevalent right now since it's kind of hunting season, or any of this everyday gear, you can pick up any of this at kennelgrade1.com shop or first link in the description. And since it's Black Friday weekend, use promo code BLACKFRIDAY, all caps, and that's going to get you 10% off site-wide. So you want a trail camera? Go ahead and pick one up now and use that promo code. And thanks again for any of you guys who buy things it really does help support the channel help me be able to go out there and make hunting videos because uh you know what believe it or not going out there and um uh, shooting a deer doesn't make any money because nobody buys deer meat we're starting off with a very disturbing photo which i told you guys about in the beginning of the episode i've been peeing on his scrape a lot that is one hour later and i got a video of him that's not him though okay yeah that's him oh my goodness oh look is he Pooping? Oh my goodness, dude. That is literally the biggest buck of my entire life. And then we got this Cujo coming in here thinking he hot stuff. Guess what you ain't, son? Big boy just came and peed on it. He's doing the little licking branch thing. The branch above the scrapes, even more important, because that's where they put a lot of their scent. So we got a video right here. Let's see if the doe does anything. She looks at the camera. I don't know. Oh, man, she didn't really do anything. I think this is the third different buck we've seen. Oh, there's me peeing again. I don't know what he's got going on right there on his leg. Maybe he's got stabbed or something. This is literally the one morning I didn't hunt and there was deer all over it, apparently. 
And then does come through and does come through. And there's me, I come in a pee on it. I'm the most dominant buck in this situation. I got trail camera footage to prove it. I'm here more than anybody. Maybe that's why I ain't seen no deer. Oh, he's back. Let's see what he does to the scrape. Licks the branch and smashes it up against his face. It's a pretty common theme with scrapes. We're gonna start going through them a little bit quicker. And uh, I know this is kind of a long segment, but like, listen guys, this is super important data. And there's me again going in the evening, didn't see anything. There's me leaving the evening, didn't see anything. Like a really solid, oh my gosh, is that bigger than Rock Band? Is that bigger? That's not even Rock Band. That's bigger than Rock Band. That's not Rock Band. That's not Rock Band. Rock Band's the wide one. This is Jeffrey. He's kind of tight. He's also an eight-pointer, also a shooter. Yeah, it's Jeffrey though. Rock band is wide. Jeffrey, tall. I feel so privileged to have this footage on a KG trail camera. Oh my gosh. Look at him just breathing. That's, that's borderline scary. Every time I'm there, the deer aren't. And every time the deer are there, I'm not. And then my screen goes purple. I'm not done hunting for rock band. I don't usually do this, but come back tomorrow for part two. We're killing rock band.